To those of you who are not convinced and still want to take your woman to a Valentine's dinner because you think while you're sitting in that restaurant uh, looking at the inflated prices they charge the suckers that show up and that night, you think that she's thinking, oh, what a chivalrous romantic man. He must be really romantic and chivalrous to take me out on Valentine's uh, night. While you're thinking that's going on in her mind, what is actually going on in her mind is, well, I've got this chap uh, wrapped around my finger. He obviously thinks I am higher than him. He obviously thinks he is lower than me. He obviously thinks that he's scored big time by having me go out with him. That's why he uh, bends to every whim of mine. That's why he does whatever I want. That's why he always says yes. That's why he's simping because he thinks that I am more worthy and valuable than him and I'm doing a favor to him by going out with him and that is why he is uh, bending backwards to please me. That is how women think. No matter what she tells you, even if the women come here and deny this, it's not true. Listen, I've been with over 700 women from all regions of the world. They are all the same. Now, they're, the amount of things that they want is different based on their, uh, you know, where they grew up and everything. But the nature of women is same all over the world. The more you suck up to them, the more you try to please them, the more you always say yes to them, that will not be interpreted as a good, generous uh, man who is uh, chivalrous and romantic. That will be interpreted as someone who is lower than them and uh, all the challenge is out the window for them and they're already in their mind thinking uh, about the next guy. They are uncontrollably attracted to men who put themselves first. I don't mean in any way mistreating them with disrespect and everything. Those guys who do that are lowlifes. But men who value themselves and genuinely, the operating word here is genuinely, men who genuinely think that any woman that has the pleasure of going out with them is experiencing a pleasure. They truly mean that. Some things you cannot fake. Some things you cannot fake. And if you're a successful man, if you're a man who's self-confident, if you're a man who never feels the need to uh, uh, gain the approval of others, if you're a man who walks his own path, stands his ground, is self-confident, you genuinely will feel that women that go out with you are privileged. Because they are. Because they are. Because let's face it, over 98% of the men belong to the simp category, unfortunately. And you know, uh, that includes the ones who are not successful, who are not really worth being with. I'm sorry, but this is uh, just the way it is. You have to have something to offer a woman that comes with you, you know? So, you thought that I'm going to slow down with this uh, being 110% against uh, going out on Valentine's night and, and, and any other uh, 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 situation where there's an outside force telling you to do something? I'm going to put my foot harder on the gas here and tell you if you are one of those people that are doing that, thinking you're going to be thought of as chivalrous and romantic, you are gravely mistaken. She will think of you as boring, wrapped around her finger, and genuinely lower than her because you need to do these things to please her. And if you think the amount of money you have will make a difference, the only difference it makes is that she will use you to, uh, to get the things she wants. And uh, the moment, uh, if you're in the West, she can uh, leave you and uh, won't have to even give up all the money. Whereas uh, if you're in other countries of the world, more than 90% of the countries of the world, she cannot leave you because uh, she, you know, she, she stands and stays and suffers because if she leaves you, she won't get all the, the money. You see, divorce court, divorce uh, rules and laws are not same all over the world. They're the worst, absolute worst in US, Canada and parts of Western Europe. The rest, and Japan, parts of Japan. The rest of the world, you know, if a woman leaves, you know, she gets a, a measly amount that was originally promised uh, to her at the time of the marriage, and that's it. It's up to the man to support her kids and give whatever he wants. Whether that's right or wrong, 
I don't make the rules, but that's the way it is. My point is that in the, if you think that uh, she'll hang around and you're saying, well, you know, I have money, uh, so what's the big deal going out to, to dinner or spending, you know, $400, whatever, $500 on a dinner? No, that's not a big deal. No one cares about $500. There are people who spent uh, $50,000 on, on a dinner, you know. Uh, the, the, the point is she will think of you as a simp, as a rich simp. You don't think women left uh, Paul McCartney? Are you richer than him? Are you more famous than him? A woman with one leg left him and had him pay 50 million pounds divorce settlement. So please don't ever come back to me and tell me that, oh, I've got money. It's not a big deal. Take her out on Valentine's Day. That tells me that you are completely missing the point. Don't be a simp. Don't pedestalize any woman. Any woman. I don't care who she is. Put yourself in the first place. Think of yourself as someone worthy of being with. And women will sense that. Men also. People will sense that you have a high placed a high value on yourself genuinely, genuinely. And that is attractive. That is attractive. People want to be with you. They want to be around you. And the opposite is true with simps who feel like they need to please everyone, including the woman in their life. Your time with her will be very temporary. And she might be there physically, but in her mind, she's looking for ways to get out. All the best.